Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here with all of our puppies. Look at the whole crew. We have got the entire family, the entire team in the kennels right now except for the little puppy that we will be meeting in about six more days for a training session so we can see what Sierra and Domino's first puppy is going to be like. If I remember correctly, little Comet is a Malamute like his mother and we're going to see if he ends up with traits like Domino or traits like like Sierra. So this is going to be really fun. I really love training the puppies. It's kind of a fun little side thing that we get to focus on among all of the racing, but we will be racing for glory pretty soon. I am still super impressed with Maximus. He has been doing a great job being a new lead dog, which is something very important that we need to have more often in case we do need to send Domino out. Um, Domino is usually our lead. He's a level three lead and he's really good at what he does, but uh, he is our only really good lead dog so Maximus has come on in here and he loves fame and he is thriving on our team he has done really really well even though he has only gone out to four races so I'm really really proud of him and I can't wait to see the puppy and let's see we need to let Maximus rest a little bit longer hmm so I wonder I'm gonna go ahead and switch to training the dogs and I'll let Dan actually take care of big old giant Maximus so let's pull him in here and I'm gonna get all the other dogs because they don't need to rest off the roster. And then I will train up another dog. Uh, I think Sierra. No, I have Striker with me. Whose skills need a little bit of a boost? Yuki's skills need a little bit of a boost. So I'll pull Yuki in with me and let's do this. But we are still racing for glory, my friends. And I'm thinking my next big goal is actually going to be expanding the kennel. And I do want to get ready to go to the next league. I want to be able to go all the way up to league seven before the end of the month when our sled dog saga may take a brief break as winter marches on and spring shows up and we'll be moving into some other fun, really fun games. I'm excited to share with you guys, but I don't know at the same time. I'm so attached to these dogs now I just feel like we have built an amazing team and I'm so proud of all of them All right, so Maximus is done resting So let's pull Sierra and Harmony in and Dan is doing really well. I still feel like it's Dan from eat your sushi so <laughs> It's really funny because I just I feel like somehow we managed to get him on our team and let's see Let's take care of everybody Good skill is going up. I guess we won't have another race until, ooh. Oh man, that's gonna be a really tough race. We might have to use our top dogs for that. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, there's another race today. Okay, and this is decent quality, a snowy night, and it's pretty easy. All right, so let's go ahead and enter this race. Because it is snowy, I am going to be bringing Domino with me because his favorite thing is snow, and it's been a long time since he's had that. Yuki hasn't had her favorite thing for 85 days, so I really think she should be here. Uh, her specialty is the wheel position, actually. And this would still be a hard race on her, but I think it would be good for her to run. And then I'll bring Sierra and Striker as well. Let's see, Harmony's specialty is in the middle. Uh, Maximus's specialty is in the... Well, Maximus's specialty is supposed to be in the lead, and this would be a dangerous race for him to go on. Hmm. Should I bring Sierra or should I bring Harmony? Maybe... I want to bring Sierra, I think. And we'll just have Yuki as our only dog that we're kind of training this time. I don't know. It's so fun, actually, to have so many dogs to pick from now. You know what? I'm going to bring uh, Striker and Harmony so we can train up Yuki and Harmony. And let's see. Got Domino in the lead. Awesome. We're good to go. Let's do this. <gasps> It's our rival, yes, all right. Oh my goodness, and look at Harmony. That got her really excited to see our rival. And then thank you, ah, oh, and I threw the treat on the ground anyway. I was gonna say thank you to the person who let me know if you need to, what you can do with the treats is you can actually right click and, and cancel holding the treat out. Oop, and there's Yuki, there you go Yuki. Good, and the more perfects we can get with Yuki and Harmony, the higher their exhaustion capacity will go up towards. So we are going to be racing for glory, my friends. I'm very, very excited about trying to really see our team. There we go, yes, all right, they caught it at the same time. Trying to see our team just reach the top. I wanna to be able to get our kennel expanded a lot. I'm not sure how many kennel expansions you can have, so that might be just something really fun to discover. Come on, everybody. All right, we're doing good. All right, Yuki, you're ready for another treat. Good job. She makes a pretty decent wheel dog. All right, come on, everybody. Keeping an eye on you. And let's get something up to, oop, Yuki's already ready for another treat. And Striker doesn't really need another treat, but I'll keep her moving. All right, oh, Yuki, what was that? What was that little, like, exclamation point over her head about? 
That was interesting. I wonder, was that like her specialty kicking in? All right, whoop, I need to get something up to Domino. Poor Domino, he's all the way at the front, so it can be a little tricky. Yes, and he and Harmony actually caught something together. I almost want to breed those two because I think they'd have very beautiful puppies. All right, let's keep moving. Yuki. And then, all right, Sierra's next. All right, and I'm gonna need to feed. Come on, Domino, catch it. Yes, all right, and he got a little bit of fame for that because he caught it after he jumped over a rock, thank goodness. But yeah, that's my goal. So what are your guys' goals when you race your dogs? Because I want to breed our dogs like constantly, not not to overbreed them, but just to see what their puppies would be like. And especially now that I know if we release their puppies uh, and keep them off the roster, then what happens is you can actually adopt their puppies in the future. So that makes me feel so much better because it's like, it's like you're not giving up the dog forever. You are just not keeping them on that current roster. So that's really awesome. Yes, man, Harmony and Domino are really on top of it. They have been just, oh, there's our rival. They have just been catching the treats at the same time. That is so cool. All right, Sierra, that was probably a little, oh, Sierra, no, no, not your fault right this very last second. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we won that at the very last moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna have a panic attack because Sierra's fault kicked in just at the last moment, but we did it, you guys! All right, so let's see how everybody performed. Come on, yes! Yuki's fatigue capacity has gone up, and that is much better. She is really getting in shape for the higher level races. She had her favorite things, so her happiness is going to go up, her fame went up. Yes, her rapport with Striker and Domino has gone up. All right, Harmony, what about you? Not quite as many perfects. But that's okay, her happiness and favorite thing happened. Oh, and she got a level up in her fame. Oh my gosh. Wow, how did you get so famous all of a sudden, Harmony? She adores fame, so that's a wonderful thing for her. All right, oh, I forgot Yuki still needs, or Striker still needs to have one more fatigue capacity go up. She had her favorite thing. So that's actually really fun, you guys. And she became more famous. It's actually really fun just to see your dogs become happy too. So I might start looking and seeing who could get their favorite things. All right, and Domino, what do you get? No, happiness is great. 58 races that dog has gone on as lead. So if I beat my rival enough, I should see him come up um, as somebody we can hire, which would be really cool. <gasps> It's the puppy! I'll get three chances to spend time with Comet and see what kind of attributes he'll grow into. I can choose to condition his natural aptitude, skill type, fault type, or favorite thing. Then I'll see what came of it. All right, so let's go ahead and let's try um, his natural aptitude first. And so there's a high potential for a wheel dog or a high potential for a lead dog. Uh, everything else is just normal potential. So if we start conditioning him for that, the wheel, like Sierra. So this could be another wheel dog right here. We're actually trying really hard to go for um, to go for middle dogs, believe it or not. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but that's okay. That's okay. And we still have to figure out what Maximus's natural attributes uh, lead him towards too. All right, and then let's do training and let's pull Max in. There we go. All right, and everybody's gonna get a little bit of rest. It looks like I have. Let's just move on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and it's the other race again. Okay, I think we'll go ahead and we'll do this race today too. Let's see, everybody should be ready to go. This is supposed to be a really difficult race, but we definitely wanna pull in as absolutely much money as we can so that once I have the bills paid, then I'll be able to expand the kennel. And I also wanna take a peek. I think, that's right, we need like, <laughs> Oh, I love that sponsor funding. Isn't that fantastic? So we need $17,000 to qualify for League 6. But I, I want to qualify for League 6 and 7 soon because I think that those races offer you a ton of money. So that's definitely something we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and enter the race. I'm actually going to pull in my top dogs for this. I'm going to make sure we have like the main team. And the reason being, these are my highest skilled dogs and this is supposed to be a bit of a dangerous race and I don't wanna have um, any of the new dogs in it in case they get hurt. Yeah, look at that. That is supposed to be almost deadly for dogs who are not totally ready and trained for this. Got everybody where they belong. Striker behind Domino, Sierra by Max. That's just the, the lineup I like the best and let's do this. All right, pups, this is gonna be a tough one. 
And it was really fun to see how many of you guys who are racers agreed with me that there's something about pushing yourself. And yes, sometimes it can really hurt. And sometimes you have to go past what you feel like your limits are. But that's kind of part of the sport. And it's really very rewarding sometimes to just feel that much growth of, of being able to reach that level of pushing yourself past what you feel like your limits are. So that's what I hope my main team can do. Come on, guys. We can manage this. Alright. Oh, that was a little early on the treats. I wanna I wanna be a little bit more patient with tossing them treats. That's gonna miss Domino, I think. Oh no, he caught it. Perfect. Now we do want perfects for the speed boost, but we don't really need to worry about giving them perfect treats. Let's see, let's toss these two. We don't really need to worry about giving our dogs perfect treats so that they can get their fatigue capacity up, except for Striker and Sierra. I think they do need a little bit more. More perfects! More perfects for my puppies! So that they can be able to have higher endurance. Alright, there you go, there you go! Higher endurance and hold on through these races! Oh, I missed her! Dang it! Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! I don't want them to get tired. Alright, go Sierra! I'm so proud of you! Oh, there's the other guys! Okay, we're catching up! We've got this! I kind of feel like it would be funny. Oh, what happened? Her fault kicked in? Oh, Sierra, hang in there. I don't know what your fault is. I can't remember off the top of my head. Is it that you missed treats? You, okay, good. Her fault recovered already. Oh, thank goodness. All right, let's keep an eye on everyone. And there's apparently a tree coming. It's gonna, ah, tree. Oh no, Max couldn't catch it. Now Max has, I think one of the reasons Max is so famous is I would say his signature move is treat retrieval. Like treat retrieval, do you get it? <laughs> For when the treats end up smacking into trees and he still catches them. Because he's in the wheel position, he's actually done that a lot. So that's my guess on uh, one of the main sources of his fame. Also that really helped out Stryker or Sierra with her fame too. All right, come on everybody, we've got this. Second place, not for long. Not if I have my way. Good job, boys, catching those treats at the same time. <laughs> Treat retrieval, I'm so proud of my wittiness. <laughs> All right, almost there, thank goodness. This wasn't so bad, but the reason that this race didn't really make our dogs suffer a lot is because I've been so strict on making sure that we have a top quality team. If I had pushed out Maximus on this race, he would have probably been in the severe danger for his exhaustion rate. It would have been very, very bad. We probably wouldn't have taken first place. Yay, Sierra's happy now too, huzzah! So you really want, oh no, her rapport went down with Sierra. How did her rapport go down with Striker? Did they do something that made them upset? I didn't know that could even happen. I didn't know that the dogs could be like, I don't like you anymore. So, hmm, maybe I, maybe it was jealousy. <gasps> Domino, fame level nine. I wonder what fame level all of our dogs are. I think Domino and uh, Max, <gasps> we could qualify the, for the next league, but not yet because my dogs need a little bit of rust. Just a tiny bit though, geez. Maybe we will go ahead and try qualifying for the next league. Maybe after this race? I'm not sure. That would be kind of cool if we could pull it off though. Huh. I'll have to think about that. And then uh, I wonder why your report went down, Max. So he's fame level nine. So Max is still, oh, he's been on the team for 356 days. It's almost been a whole year of having our team together. That is just the best. All right, Maximus, there you go. Give everybody their pets. Um, I might put Maximus out in middle position at this next race because it's short and snowy. So I do want to have Domino out because he loves the snow and it should be a decent one. We might we might do that and train Maximus that way. All right, time to rest our puppies for one day. And then I'll give Max his quick pet. I'll give them all their quick pets. Oh, there you go, guys. Oh, there you go. Happy dogs, happy dogs everywhere. And then I'll go ahead and swap over to training. And we'll do training again, and it's time to condition Comet. So I'm kind of sad because I really wanted a middle dog, but I bred two dogs that have nothing to do with the middle, so shouldn't be surprised. So let's see what his favorite thing is going to be. Is it perfect catch or snow? Now if it's snow, snow dogs are a lot harder to keep happy. Um, perfect catch, totally awesome. I can pull off happiness for perfect catch dogs, easy peasy. But if it's snow, that's another kind of strike against Comet possibly being on our team for 
for now. Don't forget, even if we don't keep the puppy this round, we can keep the puppy in the future and get them. And it's better to release them as soon as you get them and then choose them later so that you can start training them. Because once you release a dog and you wait to pull them back into your team at a later date, the dog loses all of its skills. So I'm really relieved to know because now we can breed puppies and we don't have to be sad because we know we could get them in the future. Um, but we're going to try to condition him. It's Wither. Oh no, Comet, you might make a really good dog on another team at this rate, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to keep them for our team at this rate. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, not just yet race, but let's go ahead and pick out the dogs we're gonna take with us. I'm actually going to put, um, Stryker and Sierra are so close. I'm gonna put Sierra back because Stryker is so close to maxing out her fatigue. And I'm gonna pull in Maximus, and we're actually gonna put him in the wheel or the middle position and just see how he does there. Cause he hasn't he hasn't clicked. And we'll put training. Come here, Sierra. He hasn't quite clicked uh, in the other spots just yet. So he doesn't have a specialty. See, no specialty. Um, and he'll be pretty tired. So I'll keep him right there in the middle close to me so I can take good care of him. And we'll see if he'll trigger his specialty this time. And his favorite thing is fame. So we'll try to get him a little bit of fame now too. Oh, and then hang on just a second. There, now Max has had his favorite thing. <laughs> so yeah, favorite thing, petting zero days ago, much better. All right, Maximus, let's do this. And then we may qualify for League Six next time. That would be really amazing. All right, so Maximus is probably gonna get pretty tired. So I'm gonna keep a good eye on him. And then, yeah, he's gonna need treats almost twice as quickly. Whoa, you don't know what that was about, but I'm not forfeiting the race. What the heck? I have no idea what happened. Sorry about that, guys. All right, Maximus's favorite thing, or his, his skill triggered actually. So that was really cool. All right, let's try going. All right, I'm gonna try to throw this treat when I see, ah, oh, no, I was trying to do the treat retrieval with Maximus, but I didn't manage to pull it off in time. All right, and Yuki is ready for that treat. Whew, I have no idea what happened, but that startled me. All right, back in the race, back in the race. That's almost like, I don't know, th somebody throwing a snowball at your face while you're trying to race your dogs and trying to like uh, cause you to get all tangled up. All right, hang in there, Maximus. I know I'm pushing him really hard, putting him in this position uh, in a race like this, but he's with my top runner, so he should he should be able to be trained. It really means a lot, you know, when you're on a team with somebody and you know that they're good at what they do. For some reason, I'm remembering all the projects I had to work on in university, and when you know you're with some of the smartest students in the class, your stress levels go so far down. All right, and I don't know if I was able to get him any fame, but we did win the race, so let's see how Maximus's training went. All right, Max is fine. <laughs> he got a little tired because I got a little bit tangled. Maximus? Oh, look at that, beautiful. We almost leveled up his fatigue capacity. I got him one teensy bit of fame, but I have no idea if that was enough to make him super happy. Yay, and Striker had a bit more fame too. Domino maxed out, but where's Domino's fame level? I feel like... Like, I wish you could like breed your famous dogs and, and get a little bit of funds for it because that's how it works in real life. People fawn after the dogs who have had really big races. All right, so there we go. We are really pulling in a lot of money now. I thought we wouldn't be able to get that kind of funds, but we really are. So I'm kind of tempted. Look at that short race, another $3,800. Um, I think we're gonna try running the short race and then we're gonna try running a big race so the league race I mean I think that's what we're gonna do all right you guys so I'm gonna rest up our dogs we're gonna run the short race and then we're gonna see if we're fancy pantsy enough to go and enter league six so that's really exciting once we get there I may settle in and focus on expanding the kennels and maybe getting some more puppies uh, brought up too and maybe even hiring some new dogs so we can try out some of the different breeds like a yellow lab or the sheep or we could try out um, the chocolate lab again Again, I miss the little chocolate lab, but I think we have everybody else actually. So, hmm, and we'll have to see if we can ever figure out what Maximus's specialty is. I'm really hoping it's the lead. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.